and here we are <clears throat> together again and um, February 23 we're looking at 2nd Samuel chapter 23 verse 8 to 16 2nd Samuel chapter 23 verse 8 to 16 reading from the New Living Translation and uh, Angus Bushan in his book uh, the Bible in 366 days for men of faith entitles this one David's mighty men these are the names of David's mightiest warriors the first was Joshua Bam, the Hakmonite, who was leader of the three, the three mightiest warriors among David's men. He once used his spear to kill 800 enemy warriors in a single battle. Next in rank among the three was Eli, Eliezer, son of Doda, Dodai, a descendant of Ahua. Once Eliezer and David stood together against the Philistines, when the entire Israelite army had fled. He killed Philistines until his hand was too tired to lift his sword, and the Lord gave him a great victory that day. Next in rank was Shammah, son of Aji from Herar. One time the Philistines gathered at Lehi and, <coughs> and attacked the Israelites in a field full of lentils. The Israelite army fled, but Shammah held his ground in the middle of the field and beat back the Philistines. So the Lord brought about a great victory. Once during the harvest when David was at the cave of Adullam, the Philistine army was camped in the valley of Rephaim. The three, who were among the thirty, an elite group among David's fighting men, went down to meet him there. David was staying in the stronghold at the time, and a Philistine detachment had occupied the town of Bethlehem. David remarked longingly to his men, Oh, how I could, would love some of that good water from the well by the gate in Bethlehem. So the tree broke through the Philistine lines, drew some water from the well by the gate of Bethlehem, and brought it back to David. Angus Bushan says, David had 37 mighty men in his elite group. We are to be mighty men and take up our roles as prophet, priest, and king in our homes and communities. We can only do this through God's power in us and I take these last this last line to say what was revealed to me when I read this we can only do this through God's power in us two times in this passage two times in this passage it is reported that the Israelite army fled David was there with his men and the battle was getting tough against the Philistines and his soldiers left retreated ran away it reminds me of the chorus or the song where we call it, I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back. And it's a song of repetition. Sometimes I believe the words are repeated, not just that you would understand it and hear it and believe it, but that the person singing it would be reinforcing their resolve to go forward and follow Jesus, to emphasize their commitment, to encourage themselves. Though none good with me, still I will follow. Is an exact replica of what happens here. The Israelite army fled not once, not twice, more than three times. Leaving the men to fight on their own. But God was with them and they were victorious. But he had these fighting men and he had his army. Um... There are times when we are surrounded by people and we, we say we're going to go forward. There's strength in numbers and we are strong when we worship to get in the church. And then after worship and we go back out, we find ourselves now. Um, we find ourselves um, alone and fighting the battle. In these moments, I want to assure you that God is with you. And though none go with you, still follow Jesus, no turning back. God bless you.